This is ABC 7 News, Sunday morning. Well, up next for us, mixing it up with cool drinks for your next get-together. A mixologist from Blue Plate Catering is here to show us how you can easily serve up some creative and family-friendly drinks. This holiday weekend is a hot one, and as you plan to get together with family and friends, you may want to serve up some cool drinks, and it doesn't just have to be ordinary lemonade. Dan Schuring is an event service manager and a mixologist with Blue Plate Catering, and he's here to show us how to mix up some drinks for the whole family, some also that are just for adults. Good morning, Dan. Good morning. What's a mix? How do you get to be a mixologist? It's a pretty cool title that's really uh, you hear a lot more of these days. Yes, you do. Um I just was kind of lucky enough to fall into it and work for a great company yeah. like Blue Plate. Well, let's get started. So the first drink we're going to be making is a Summer Collins. Correct. So what do we need to so, know? So uh, a Collins is a gin-based cocktail. Right. So in this one, we're just going to go ahead and do two ounces of gin. Mm -hmm. And are you uh, the type of person who thinks quality of gin and vodka or whatever it is really matters? Gin, yes. Vodka, not Not usually. so much. Okay. Okay. It's good to know. And then we are going to use a cucumber juice. What I've done is thrown this through a food processor mm -hmm. and then just go ahead and put it through a strainer. So you dropped a bunch of cucumbers in a food processor and then strained them out? Yep. Okay. Yeah, and that's what gives you the, uh, the full juice. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to go ahead and put just a splash of fresh lemon. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and shake this up. And, of course, that's part of the party there is doing the whole Absolutely. move and impressing people with your skills, right? And if you wanted to make any of these drinks non-alcoholic, is it just as simple as not pouring the booze in or do you uh, add yeah. something else? Both of, these, uh, both of these cocktails today are family friendly. So okay. just omitting the booze mm -hmm. um, is the best way. And the way you garnish it, I think, makes a big difference in your presentation. It, what do you suggest? It does. For the Collins, I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit of lemon mm -hmm. and I have some fresh raspberries here. Oh, to drop it in there, which like, always looks nice. Yeah. Just and it really becomes a color. conversation piece at a party too, because people get excited about having a creative and Absolutely. pretty looking drink. Yep. And so then for the second drink, mm -hmm. we are going to do a cucumber juice again. Okay, this is the cucumber rosemary lemonade. That is your summer collin. No, I know, but that's what you're making now. Yes. Okay, I'm not going to drink this, but I am going to sniff it, and it smells excellent. Okay, and then this is a rosemary simple syrup that I made also. However, mm. if you're using it at home, you can take the cucumbers and fresh rosemary, right. put it in through your food processor, and strain it that way. Okay. And can you do that well in advance before the party, get it all strained out? You don't lose anything by waiting a few hours yeah, from that. You the... can actually do it up to two days ahead of time. Oh, okay. One less thing to worry about yep. if you get it done a few days before your party as well. And we'll have on our website, by the way, abc7chicago.com, all the exact parceling out of this so you don't wind up with a drink that's too sweet, too sour. Exactly. So, and then this one, we're <laughs> but just... too strong, basically. We're going to put the, the uh, vodka two, you're pouring in there. Two ounces of vodka in. Cap. Shake. Shake. Will kids drink cucumbers, do you think? You know, that's why I've gone ahead and add... This one here mm -hmm. is for the children. I've added a little bit extra of raspberry marmalade oh, to it, just little... to sweeten it up a little. Right. So a little more sweetness, a little less uh, booze in the one. Correct. Cookies. I like that. Okay. And then this is the finished, finished product. product. And look at that. You just poked a little hole in the center of the uh, lime and the lemon and garnished it up beautifully. Yep. Well, thank you so much. I love it. These look great. Thank you. Hey. You're a strong man who can make uh, cocktails at 6.50 in the morning. Yes. <laughs> Impressive. You can look up Dan's recipes uh, for these drinks and much more on our website, abc7chicago.com. And we'll be right back. These smell great. Thank you.